Happy new comic book day, webheads. Guys, I just dropped off the kids from school. I'm literally eating a bowl of cereal, as you get to see right here. In fact, you're gonna laugh, but I am eating Apple Jacks, right? See, right there, Apple Jacks. So as soon as I'm done eating my Apple Jacks, I'm gonna go to Comic Central, and I'm shooting a promo video for free comic book day with them. I did it last year, doing it now, and what I'm hopeful for is to shoot a video inside the shop today for new comic book day. Just a little bit something different. Happy new comic book day. I'll see you in a little bit. Welcome to Spider Slayer's comic book haul fans. This is episode 581 and as you can see, yes I am in Comic Central. This is my LCS located in the city of Sanford. So if you guys are ever in the Central Florida area, stop by, make sure you tell them that I sent you and you know what like I said you will get that mysterious black bag and inside will be the comics that you purchased but guys I got a huge haul to show you but I'm gonna take you on a little tour of this store real quick before we get started all right so here we are in Comic Central probably the capital of pops because Comic Central definitely does have great pops lots of them great prices they are everywhere right and then we got john behind the desk say hi john hi. you'll see him in the up and coming new comic book day video and then you guys always see actually like i get those special books right this is where i get them behind the counter so i'm lazy i don't like going through the back issues all that much so it's like this is where i find all those key books <laughs> so yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, I got some really great exclusive pop figures back behind the counter. So if you guys are ever interested, again, stop by. Then we go into the cases and we get to see the um, PVC statues, the Diamond Select statues. They're really nice and the prices on them are right as well. And then there's more under here, under the cabinet here. So really great stuff. And then as we go through, we get to see the uh, infinite amount of comic books that are here uh, when it comes to the new releases. So everything that you can think of when it comes to the new releases, uh, definitely marked well so you can find those new releases are all here on the shelf. So you can see it here, Marvel, DC, just lots and lots of great stuff, guys. So yep, just taking you on a little tour. So hopefully you appreciate that. I know you guys have been asking about this right and then over here we got our indie books up top so if you ever come into the store they're towards the back and you got to make sure you get them quick because they definitely sell out so this is the newest stuff that's coming out okay back here we have all these trades so you can check out all the trades we got marvel over here and then dc over here and then you got more graphic novels all in this area right here. So really great stuff, again, wonderful trades, anything you can think of. And then if you're a manga fan, well, Comic Central has that too, you know? You can't just sell comic books at comic book stores anymore, you gotta sell a, lot, a little bit of everything, right? And then we have the newest graphic novels that are, are released for today, and then Comic Central also has their back issues, which is not an overwhelming amount, which I actually like to where every week you come in and you can actually shift through these ones and see what they actually have. So every week I come through just in case to see if there's any uh, new amazing Spider-Man titles. And we'll shift through that real quick. So here we go. All right, so there's some amazing Spider-Man right there. Do I buy them? I don't know, maybe. There's actually, there are actually a couple of ones that are that I might actually buy today. So we'll see what happens. All right, and then here we have the front of the store. So there you guys have it. There's the inside of the store. What I actually will buy? Well, we're gonna show you once I get back into the car. So there you guys have it. There's the inside of Comic Central. I know I haven't shown you the inside in quite a while and you guys have been asking. So I got to go before the store actually opened. So it's nice to be able to you know, film everything in there and be myself, but they got some great stuff like I've said in the past. So now let's check out 
this week's haul because obviously this is what you come here for, right? All right, so not only did I get one, but two mysterious black bags. It's another heavy comic book week with those Alex Ross variants and just a lot of great comics in general getting ready that were coming out this week. So let's talk about the back issues that came out, all right? So the back issues that I wound up picking up was the first one here is a pretty cool Hulk book. This is Hulk, Incredible Hulk issue 376. This is a newsstand edition of the comic book, and this is the uh, Green Hulk versus the Gray Hulk. So I was like, okay, I'll pick this up for 10 bucks. Like, why not, right? So I'm, I am happy to pick up some older Hulk books that are in some great condition. Then we got some Spider-Man books. As I showed in the video earlier, they did get some new Spidey books that they have not gotten. So whenever they're available, I tend to pick them up even if I, you know, already have them or not. So here's what we picked up. So the first one is The Amazing Spider-Man. This is issue 188. So pretty cool cover there with Spider-Man. It almost looks like he's glowing, right? And then we picked up The Amazing Spider-Man issue 192. I love this when these two are connected together at, at the wrists there. And Alistar Smythe is, is the main bad guy in this book. So another fun issue to pick up there. 24 hours doomsday. And then we have 215 where we have Namor on the cover. And he says... We don't have time to kill them, Spider-Man, and the Submariner are no longer a threat to the Frightful Four. So really cool. And then we have uh, 216, the race is on, will death be the victor? And then we have Madam Web on the cover. So that's cool. And then I picked up issue 231, when Cobra comes a calling. So those were the back issues that I picked up this week. So excited to get those and add it to the Spider-Man collection. And all those books were like super affordable. Every single one of those Spider-Man books, the highest price was 10 bucks. So yeah, can't beat that. All right, so now let's get going with the books that were released this week. The new books, The Bad Boys. Here we go, guys. Oh my gosh. Look at this look at that holy cow and i uh, just want to let you know that i filmed the new comic book day video that will that should be out by friday so you guys know everything about free comic book day dc connect all about the night terrors let me tell you there's some great covers that are coming out for night terrors like look at that man so good so if you're a cover collector you're gonna to wanna to collect some of these covers. The variants are absolutely gorgeous. Then we have Moon Knight. This is uh, Moon Knight. <laughs> this is Marvel Previews. This is featuring Moon Knight issue 25. Everything that you ever wanted when it comes to, comes to the Marvel Previews. So we have that. All right. And then we wind up getting from Marvel to kick things off, Thor issue 33. This book has gone so far down. The only thing I'm interested in is the Black Infinity Stone. The artwork keeps changing in this book. It's not even close to what it was. Nick Klein doesn't seem like he's doing the artwork. Like, what is happening? That's the way Doctor Doom looks right now? Jeez, man. Just not a fan. Again, all I want to know is about that Black Infinity Stone. All right. Then we have the conclusion. To Strange Academy, guys, this is the final issue. I got both covers here. I got that trading card or baseball card variant. And then I got this other variant because I love this one, how it features the main characters kind of like the very first issue did. And uh, I'm so curious to see how this whole thing is gonna end up between Doyle and Emily. Such an awesome story. Maybe they'll give us pointers or hints of where this series is gonna go in the future. If you're a Star Wars fan, you might like this one. This came out this week. Darth Vader, black, white, and red. This is issue one. Freaking great cover. That's why I picked this one up. So awesome. I don't know how the stories are going to be. Obviously, you can expect everything to be black, red, and white uh, in the comic book. 
And uh, yeah, we'll see what it has to offer. Check out Darth Vader in this page. That is just weird, man. He's like a complete skeleton. That's something that's completely different. No dialogue whatsoever. That's very dark. And then you got this back up, this story here too. So yeah, we'll see what it has to offer. All right, and then we got a couple of Alex Ross uh, covers going along here. I think this is the last week of them. Here we have Sins of Sinister Dominion. This is the conclusion to everything Sins of Sinister. So this is Apocalypse cover. That's a great looking cover right there. In person, it is gorgeous. He looks so menacing here. And then we wind up getting the main cover for Sins of Sinister. So I'll be talking about this one in Worthy Ones this week. And then we have Mary Jane and Black Cat. This is issue five, uh, the conclusion to this current story arc. So here's some of the interior art in here. This has been a lot of fun. I love the character interactions between Mary Jane and... Um, <laughs> here, I'm going to show you this page right here. What is happening? Between Mary Jane and Black Cat, their interactions have been fun. The artwork has been fun. This is a great comic, guys. I cannot wait to see you know, the next volume of this. It has been said that Jed McKay is making another volume. So does that mean that Mary Jane is going to die? So I don't know. We'll see. All right. And then we have the Invincible Iron Man. This is issue five. We have Emma Frost in the picture now. So we got that going on. So here's the artwork here. And I guess he's going for Emma to ask for advice because he's dealing with that mutant, the one that was framing him for all the murders, the one that wanted Mars and all those uh, different things. So, yep, Invincible Iron Man, issue five. All right, guys, so before we continue on, I just want to give a quick shout out to the Facebook group page member. Shout out of the day goes to Jacob, who says, picked up all these at a hobby shop for eight bucks. Nothing too special, but cannot pass them up. And then said, P.S. Mike, check out the amazing Spider-Man. It hit me afterwards where I've seen the cover image. And these are some great titles for eight bucks. I wouldn't pass this up either, but the image he's talking about is this one right here. That is the one that I talk about or show in my comic book haul each week. So congratulations on scoring those books. That's awesome. Then we go on to William, who is a nurse and it's his birthday gift from a fam from his family and he goes time to get studying again and this is the anatomy of a meta human that's a pretty cool book man studying superheroes and like how they work and stuff man that's a great great birthday present congratulations william then we have rick scott who says hey guys first time posting new to comic collecting here are a few of my finds. He's got the Son of Satan, a Ghost Rider. He's got the Spider-Man issue one, the silver. He's got a Spawn. Congratulations, Rick, on getting those books. Welcome to the community. Welcome to this group. You'll find that we have a great bunch of people here. If you need anything, never hesitate to ask. And then we have Nick, who said, my partner, Sheridan, and I have started watching and voting on the Comic Book Corner 2.0 Top 10 Comic Book Covers of the Week. And he said, we do this when we do our walks to the gym. It helps us bond on comics and talk about the art and the fun we engage in a different way. Thanks, Mike. And you can see them actually walking, watching my video. That is fantastic. I am so humbled by that, Nick. And thank you so much for sharing. And if you guys want to become part of the Facebook group, just go on to Facebook search for comic book corner 2.0 web hedge unite you're gonna have to be asked a few questions and you'll have to follow by the rules and once you agree and i approve you you will be part of the community that i was talking about earlier where we post our hauls our cgc grabs uh anything and everything within reason of discussion when it comes to comic books again a great community and you never know when you could be shouted out on future new comic book day hauls all right, continuing on, Alex Ross. That's pretty cool. Check out the abomination there. Hulk, this is issue 14. Guys, the final issue. Ryan Otley will complete what Donny Cates started. Here is the main cover for that series. We're getting Titan involved. He's taking over Hulk. 
how do our all heroes stop the Titan persona? I don't know. But I love the Ryan Otley artwork. And hopefully we will see Ryan Otley on Marvel once again. I know he's going to be focusing on his independent um, creativity as of right now. So, yeah. So there it is. The conclusion to the Hulk issue 14. Then we have Doctor Strange issue 2. What a great cover here. I think Alex Ross does this cover. But anyway, it looks like that Clea, who you would think is being framed for murder here because the person that wound up getting killed in the last issue uh, was the person that murdered Doctor Strange to begin with, and everyone blames Clea. So I guess now she's got to prove her innocence or find out who actually murdered this guy. So interesting artwork again in the comic. Uh, Jed McKay writes this book as well. And we'll see the direction that it goes in from there. All right, more Alex Ross. We got the Mole Man on the cover. This is Deadpool. This is issue six. I don't know, guys. I think I might be done with Deadpool. The last story arc or the last issue was the end of the story arc. And I'm like, I don't know if I want to continue. Uh, I'll probably wind up just putting this with the other Alex Ross covers. Then we have Daredevil. This is issue 10. A really good series right now. Things are starting to amp up. We're going to get the heroes doing battle against Daredevil in this comic book. And uh, we get to see that here. We get to see Elektra doing battle against Black Panther because they don't agree with the methods of what Daredevil is doing. And in Daredevil, in many ways, I feel like he's losing his mind a little bit. So I kind of like this story. However, it's not as strong as the initial volume from Chip Zdarsky. And then here we got some battling going on between Daredevil and Spider-Man. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. All right. And then we got Avengers Beyond. This is issue two. Uh, first issue is pretty cool as we get to see a story about the Beyonder. Uh, and where his people came from and how he's in danger and they're after him. We got great, great Greg Land artwork in this one. That's Wasp, Janet in there. So I am so curious to see what will happen. So yep, that is the Avengers Beyond. This is issue two. I feel like I'm losing my voice. I just did a video for free comic book day. Like I said, that was like almost 40 minutes long and it's just like, it's shot. All right. So now we'll go into independent. We got Vanish. This is issue six. Last issue was really trippy, man. You didn't know what was real and what was reality. Is Oliver the chosen one? Is he going to continue on his mission? I don't know. We'll find out. Great artwork by Ryan Stegman. It's like top tier for me. I love this comic. It's one of my favorite comics as of right now. So that's Vanish issue six. And then I wound up getting... The one per store foil variant for Vanish. That's right. Um, you can only get one per store. So I guess it's it's kind of rare. And it seems like every time they have a variant of, of Vanish, I'll always pick at least one of them up. So yeah, really excited about this series. Then we have the continuation of Local Man. When you always have the main cover in the front, you always have the backup cover that tells a story that took place like before he was exiled from the team. This is a great story about a man that's trying to redeem himself and trying to find out the mystery of what happened to his arch nemesis who was actually murdered, right? So really cool stuff, awesome artwork, great storytelling in this comic book. Can't wait to read this next issue. All right, and then we wind up getting World Tree issue one. So. I might be late to the party when it comes to this, but my store didn't sell the darkened covered version. So this is the first time I am actually looking at this cover. I actually don't even know really what this comic is about, to tell you the truth. But I think it takes place in like the year 2000, like during Y2K or whatnot. And I've heard nothing but really great things about this comic book. So I can't wait to read it and discuss it on Worthy Ones on Thursday. All right. So... Here we go. Foil cover for Dawn of DC Green Arrow issue one, written by Joshua Williamson. So cool, man. We have the we have Ollie back, and it's been a long time in the making. Check out that opening page, man. So bright, so vibrant. I am so happy. Look at this. Just pure action. Just adrenaline off the pages here. How many of you guys have been waiting for this book to come out? I mean, it's been years. Look at that. 
So excited to read this book. Green Arrow, issue one. God, man, so good. Plush, issue six. I think this is the last issue of this. Weird book. I mean, people dressing up as fury, furies, furries, like eating other people. Cops are after him. This guy falls in love with one of them. Just a weird story, but I don't know. It's different, and I like it. Does that make me weird and different? Maybe it does. <laughs> but this is what I'm talking about. We'll see what happens with the final issue of this. So this is plush issue six. All right. And then we have Action Comics issue 1054, the anthology book. This is the book that features, you know, Superman family and then John Kent. And then we have a Power Girl story, which I think the Power Girl story might have ended in the last issue. Let me see if I can get to it and see what we get. We get John Kent. That continues. Yeah, it looks like, I don't, I don't know. May, yeah, maybe we get a steal. Yeah, the last story has to deal with steel. So that could be something a little bit better and then make this whole comic complete once again. But check out the artwork here. That is so good, man. Number one story in here is the first story for sure. I love it. So 1054, Superman, Action Comics. Going back to Green Arrow, got the David Yakiyama variant cover as well. That's really cool. <clears throat> Decided to give the second issue of Doom Patrol a try. So we'll see how that goes. If I don't like the second issue, I might drop it. The first issue gave me enough to continue. I thought it was okay. I thought it was a fun adventure. And now we gotta get to the meat of the story and who these characters actually are. <laughs> uh, still going with the uh, Alex Ross. We got Thor, issue 33, the Loki variant. And then we have the Avengers Beyond, issue two variant here. And then we have the Green Arrow main cover. So even the main cover of this comic is nice, right? And then we have a new number one. We have Alien, issue one, from 20th Century Studios. I am an Alien fan. I didn't like the previous story, so we're going to give it a try once again. So here's the interior art here. And let's see what else is going on. And then more art right there. I don't see an alien yet. Flipping through this entire book. Well, I guess we got the face huggers, right? So I don't know. We'll see. And we'll talk about that one tomorrow too. Love this cover right here. Venom Lethal Protector, issue two. So, so Silver Sable on front and center. And you got Venom behind her. First issue was really good. We have a very unlikely team up. But the last time we've seen these two team up was in the Wild Pack. And um, again, I'm looking forward to this, man. And this should be the main Venom book, this Lethal Protector stuff. Not what Rom V is writing or Al Ewing is writing. This is good. This just reminds me of classic Marvel. The cover, the box, everything about it, right? All right. They should make like a new line and like old school line, right? Like the old school line should have this. And then the new stuff should be like the new stuff. Just make it like its own imprint. All right, so here we go. We got some clobbering time. This is issue two. Uh, first issue was a lot of fun as you got to see the thing team up with the Hulk and they got to do battle and save a species. And now it looks like the thing is teaming up with Wolverine. Could you not ask for anything more? I mean, that's awesome, dude. I cannot wait to see the interactions between these two characters. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Look at all that action. Great stuff there. Clobber in time, issue two. And then, Invincible Iron Man, issue five. I got the variant cover with the Hall of Armors. I love how they continue to come out with these variants with all these different armors. Can you imagine connecting every single one of these comics? It's got to go on forever, right? So there you guys have it. There is the haul for the week. You got to see the store. Hopefully I had a lot of fun. I had a blast bringing it to you. I got no voice left. So guys, if you love the content, you know what you got to do. Check out more content. Click on this one right here. It's my top 10 most anticipated comics for next week. And of course, guys, as always, keep buying, keep collecting, but more importantly, always read your comics. Guys, thank you so much. I will see you real soon. Bye.